What's up, everybody? Welcome back to an Idiot's Road to Glory, where we're starting off with a lovely 55k pack from the Foot Champs Cup SBC. And we're going to jump straight in as well to comment of the day, where there was a lot of Tanner's Mum Joe comments, which I did appreciate. But comment of the day is going to be Lucas Kennedy, who says, Andy says, I'll do the skill tutorial in the next video. And then in the next video, Andy says, I'll do the skill tutorial in the next video. Now, not only is this very accurate and pretty funny, it's also correct once again. I did say, did I say in the last one that I'd do the, I don't know if I did, you know. I don't know if I said that I'd do it in the next video in the last one, but I said I'd do it soon and I definitely will. And I'm going to level with you guys. It's not in this video. It's not going to be in the next one either because that's going to be for Champs Rewards. I'm going to record it basically straight after this one, but it will be in the one after that. I promise. Cross my heart and hope to delete my club if I don't. So, Lucas, I'm sorry. It's coming. We've just got a lot of cool stuff to catch up on. One of the cool things wasn't this pack, unfortunately. It was a Aaron Gies, I think it was, which is pretty terrible. But something they did drop, actually, was this Foot Champions Upgrade SBC. Now, as you guys are about to see, as I put all of my red cards that I've got left in, I traded a lot of them in for other SBCs, and I was using, like, the 85s and 86s to save them, like, 10 and 20k and stuff like that. And we're missing two from being able to do it and get a guaranteed 86. I mean, we have got one more, but it's Sergio Aguero, so we won't be trading him in. That is definitely not going anywhere near an SBC to get an 86-rated player. But, as you guys are seeing this, it is Thursday, and I will have just got my Foot Champs rewards for the next week. I'm going to show you guys me playing some of the Foot Champs because we made some changes to the team. I did play most of it. In fact, no, I didn't. I played 15 games on the Friday this week, and then I finished it off on... The Sunday because I was working with Coke in Cardiff, so I wasn't able to play on the Saturday. So we went a little a bit crazy on the Friday. And I'm actually debating streaming tomorrow, being Friday, my foot champs tomorrow. So my Twitch is twitch.tv slash AJ3. I gotta change to AJ3 today, which is pretty cool. I'll leave a link to down in the description if I remember, but twitch. It's my YouTube, my main YouTube. But Twitch instead, it's just AJ3. It's not particularly hard. It's got like a purple logo and stuff like that. Go and hit it up, drop me a follow on there, and you'll see when I start streaming. But Tempted to stream my foot champs this week and try and do 10 Friday, 10 Saturday, 10 Sunday and see where we can get. And we started off last week just gone. Pretty decent, to be honest with you. Almost scoring a banging little flip-flap Elastico goal in the first game. I, like I said, I will show you guys how to do it, honestly. I swear to you. I promise. Cross my heart. Hope to delete my club. We didn't quite score off that one with Ronaldo, but Leighton Baines is... Oh, no, we are. Oh, okay, I was about to say. Oh, no, Lane Main. Yeah, Lane Main's took it. Lane Main swings it in, and Ronaldo scores. So, there we go. That was 1 0 in our first game with the team. You guys seen the team. We were doing pretty decent with it, to be honest with you. Bentacore and Keane were playing CDM. We had Willian in the centre. Hyung Min Sun playing on the right. Rashford on the left. And Cristiano Ronaldo up front. And Ronaldo was. He was doing good. I think a lot of the problem with it was just me. I mean, he could have grabbed his hat-trick there and didn't, unfortunately, but this guy wasn't particularly decent. He gave the ball off to Rashford, and we went on a little bit of a crazy... Sc oh, no, we did. Okay, we just whipped it in an Ebra squad. Sorry, I'm thinking of a different game. Before we are about to go on a bit of a crazy... It is this game. We do it with Ebra instead. I'm not going mental. Honestly, guys, this guy went mental and started trying to break all my players' legs and get all his players sent off and stuff like that. I mean, he succeeded in this point, and he got his, his piss check, I think, sent off. But I did... Managed to throw some of the skill moves. There you go. There was a couple of flip-flaps. Roulette, flip-flap. Didn't really work. But, like I said, this guy was pretty bad. Gives the ball off to Ibra. Nice little roulette. Another little roulette. Flip-flap. Flip-flap the way. Flip-flap again. Cut inside. There's the finish. It's actually... It looks really good. I mean, dabbing's not a good look. But flip-flapping is. <laughs> it looks really good. But it's actually not that hard to do. And I know I keep saying this to you guys. I promise I will show you how to do it. It's really not difficult. In fact, just rotate the stick around in a circle and it does it. There's your little basic tutorial. I'll show you how to do it properly and how to change it all together. But just keep rotating the stick around and you'll do flip flaps of a five star skill. Anyway, that was our first game of foot champs and we started off pretty good. You can see who I subbed on there. Richarlison, Ibra in the center attacking mid spots in the center and on the right. So... Pretty decent. Absolutely smashed this guy, to be honest with you. And a good start to our foot champs this week. Can't really complain at all. I actually ended up starting off pretty bloody good. The next game we played was against this guy with his lone prime icons. Now, this week in foot champs, you could actually use attribute cards. I'm going to... I was lucky, and I don't think i actually seen anyone use them. I wasn't sure how many people actually knew that you could use them, to be honest with you. It wasn't a very well-known thing. 
it wasn't too publicized other than like a few YouTubers tweeting about it and stuff like that. But this guy's lone icons nonetheless were equally as annoying, if not more, than attribute cards. Let me know what you guys think. I really think you shouldn't be allowed to use lone cards in foot champs at all. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. It's like it's the competitive mode competing to be as good as you can, and you can just I suppose there's an argument for it in the sense that it shouldn't be pay to win. It should just be who's the best player. And obviously, loan cards put everybody on an equal playing field, which I can kind of get on board with. But obviously, some people's loans will have run out and other people's won't. And so it, we're not going to go into that. The thing that annoys me is that it isn't like that. The game is kind of pay to win or invest time to win or trade to win. or whatever. Having a better team helps is basically what I'm getting at. And I suppose that's kind of the point of Ultimate Team. And i actually seen this a lot where people... Whilst we just watch some highlights of Foot Champs, I'm just going to have a little chat. People get really, really caught up on the latest FIFA being really bad. And I suppose it's recency bias is probably the best word for it, where they think that the current FIFA is the worst FIFA ever. Whereas if they actually went back and played the old ones, they'd realise how terrible they were. They've just forgotten all of the bad things about them and only remembered the good. And one of the things people were going on about recently is pay to win. And how good it was in FIFA 14, where you could use Agbon Lahore and beat teams with Ronaldo's and stuff like that. I think people forget that at the time, when they eventually got Ronaldo, all they did was fume about the fact that they've put in all this time and effort and money to get Cristiano Ronaldo. But Agbon Lahore's better than him. <laughs> so people seem to, they don't really, they forget that basically. And everyone like currently having Ronaldo is obviously a million times better than having Sturridge or someone like that. Sturridge isn't even a good example because he's crap on FIFA. Adama. Remember Ad Adama Triore from the start? Also, we were doing sick in this foot champs at the start. We were battering everyone. We, just, we had a couple of games where I just couldn't get it to go in the back of the net for the life of me. Even in the 120th minute, missing a one-on-one -on -one was absolutely bloody ridiculous. But anyway, we are going to end up winning this game very jammily in the... Well, it's not too jammy, but it's jammy that it's in the 120th minute. Ronaldo with a little 1-2 to Aguero. Heel to heel, flip flap, flip flap, makes the space, bangs the top bins. I mean, that's pay to win, isn't it? Let's be honest with you. You can't do that if you haven't bought Ronaldo. So then, if people did trade the way to Ronaldo like I did, people then get annoyed about the fact that Adama is just as good as Ronaldo, forgetting that while it was the other way round, you also hated it. So you kind of can't win. And I think the better way to do it is trading and, yes, paying money, which is unfortunate. Get you an advantage because you have a better team. And then having loans just completely diminishes that, essentially. So I think the way that the way around that it currently is, it, again, look at this. Speaking of smashing people and not being able to get wins, 16 shots we had to his four, and it was one all. And his goal was like a spin and finesse shot with Marco Royce or something ridiculous like that. Look at that. How have I not scored more than one goal? Oh, it's driving me mental. It took until the 120th minute again to get a win in this game, which is absolutely bloody crazy. But basically, we've gone on a bit of a waffle. We were trying to do some more flip-flap with Ronaldo in the 120th minute, and we actually got a very, very soft free kick, I suppose. He was just sort of spamming B, and as Van Dyke was pulling Ronaldo back, and the ref gave me a free kick for it. And luckily for us, we've got Liam Baines. But yeah, basically what I'm getting at is the way that, feet, that foot and foot champs is set up is that trading and putting money in gives you a better team, and it's meant to give you an advantage. And part of the game is getting the better team to be able to do better. Uh, that's a pretty well accepted thing and having loans kind of diminishes it and also kind of does my editing so yeah get rid of loans let me know what you guys think though because there is obviously the arguments that it evens things out and if someone's got like a ridiculous god squad you can just sub on a loan and it makes it a fair game and then the better player wins so it's 50 50 i suppose but i personally as somebody who's like quite a hardcore player and i suppose most people who play foot champs are I kind of get annoyed by loans. But anyway, we're doing pretty decent in Foot Champs this week, like I keep saying, and I'm showing you guys some of the stuff. We've got a couple of lucky wins, one really good win. This guy, we just absolutely smashed him. Like, this is only the 37th minute, and we're freeing the up already. And he's absolutely fuming. He's going to rage quit straight away. You'll see the stats in a second. The poor guy barely hadn't touched the ball. Not good. Not good. <laughs> we were doing decent. We were playing, all right. Ronaldo with a couple of goals. Obviously, that one was completely Willian's making, but... We were smashing people. The connection wasn't particularly decent, which is kind of frustrating. But we were doing pretty bloody good. And we actually got, I think, from our first 10 games, playing all of them in one go on Friday, which is not like me at all. We managed to go 8-2, and two, which is pretty sick. Now, I am not usually... Not, I'm not one to 
up, what's the word? What am I trying to say? I'm not one to big myself up when I don't deserve it or to exaggerate how well I've been playing. Like if I've been playing crap. I'll say I've been playing crap. And there was games, especially in the next five on Saturday and the first five on Sunday where I played absolutely terribly. Really, really, really bad. I don't know what I was doing. I hated my team. I hated Ronaldo. I hated everything apart from Willian. But in the first 10, hands on heart, played better than the other person. I'm going to say nine times. I think we deserve to win 10 of them. But I would have accepted 9-1 and one because there was one game where I got... You guys are just simply smashing people and just about winning in 120th minute, which is lucky anyway. So even though we deserve to win, the way we got the win was very, very lucky. The There was one game where we probably deserved to win. But to be honest, if yeah, it could have gone either way and we didn't. And that, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. It's cool. 9-1. and one. I'd have took 9-1. and one. That would have been decent for my first foot chance back. But we were in 2 and that wasn't particularly bad either. We did carry on playing and end up going on a little bit of a lost streak and i think it got to the point where we were, were we nine and three were we nine and four i think we were nine and three so we were eight and one and then we lost the game in our 10th game to make us eight and two and then we won a game and then we lost the game and then we lost the game again no just one okay i'm getting confused either way we were doing decent and then it sort of all just fell apart and i was getting a little bit frustrated and we were grinding out wins we were only just about getting them we were deserving to win but we couldn't quite score and i i was looking at my team and I was thinking, what is the worst link of this team? And the thing that made me feel like I couldn't score goals was my midfield, Bentacor and Keane. And the weakest link in my team was Keane. But I was so reluctant to take him out because he's an untradeable icon and I can't get any value for him. He's just going to sit on the bench and do nothing. But in the end, I, I can't remember at what point this is that I'm doing it. It was definitely on the Friday. It was towards the end of the Friday. So maybe we're like 12 games in, 13 games in or something like that. And I wasn't playing really well. And I was getting a little bit annoyed. And I decided to redesign my team. Take Keane out. And at this point, I was really impressed with Bentacore, to be honest with you. He just seemed like a more agile and better passer version of Fabinho, which was absolutely fine. And obviously he gets the strong link to Cristiano Ronaldo. But Keane was doing my nothing. And I felt like he was always breaking down my attacks and getting in the way and being clunky. So we decided to bin him off. And the way we did it was by picking up a informed Martial and an informed Cancheo, starting Milinkovic Savic at right back and then putting Cancheo at right back in game and Milinkovic Savic in CDM instead of Keane. We'll go into this and, and whether it's a, right, a good idea or not. First of all, I'm going to show you what I did. I sold Sun for 20k profit, which is pretty decent. I mean, that's 20k profit after tax because we've gone up 30k. So very, very nice. Decent. And he's just got a new inform, actually. So it's even better, even smarter, because that one will have just crashed in price. So very, very lucky. Accidental trading, but I'll take it. We then picked up a Cancheo and we picked up an inform Martial and threw them both into our team. Martial actually looked pretty decent. I'll be honest with you guys. He wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't very decent at all. Kanchei was a good right back. Milinkovic Savic, I was subbing him on. Subbing him on. And he was an absolute god. And I was subbing him on at CDM when I wanted to get more attacking. And he was incredible. But, starting the game, he's a little bit hit and miss. He kind of feels like Hebrew. But look, this is where we, how we were setting our team up. We had Milinkovic Savic, CDM, Bentacor, CDM, Martial on the right, William in the centre, Rashford on the left, Ronaldo up front, and Kanchei at right back. And we jumped into the first game against the most haphazard team I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, no idea what he's going for. Half of his players only linked to one player. I don't know where he's got them all from. I don't know if they're all untradeable or something like that. I don't know why he wouldn't sell some of them and build a team that's actually got full chemistry. And again, we were kind of smashing this guy and kind of all over him. And we just got caught on counter-attacks. That's terrible defending. Like I, when, like I said, when I am defending bad and playing bad, I will admit it. That was awful defending. So we 100%. Even though the way we conceded was a little bit stupid with a William head, uh, Firmino header. We deserved to score just from our garbage defending. And then again, we were all over him trying to score. And he just hoofed the ball up and crossed it in. And Lukaku scored that. That one, not so much as bad defending and kind of just a bit unlucky, but we were playing pretty crap, to be honest with you. So, it is what it is. We lost our first game with the new team. And, like I said, it didn't feel... I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about this in a second because I want to show, I've want i got a couple more highlights that I want to show you. We obviously lost that game. We lost 2-0, which is pretty deep. We even went 4 2 brought on Ibra, all that crap to try and get a win back, but it just wouldn't happen for us. I say we were all over him. I felt like we were playing better. Obviously... A couple of his shots from in the box there, all the two goals, and he didn't really have a shot inside the box other than that. 
it is what it is, I suppose. I obviously look at it through rose-tinted glasses a little bit because it's me playing, but I try to be honest with you guys, and I try to say when I actually feel like I should have won the game and when I shouldn't. This guy has got a really cool team, actually, to, from absolute all over the place in the last one. So this guy's made a nice little hybrid, and he's even got the two flashback guys from the Japanese league, I think, that they play in, which is really cool. Torres and David Villa, but he had an absolute nightmare. We started off with Marcus Rashford going down the wing, getting sort of bullied off the ball, but he just gives the ball straight back to us with Leighton Baines. He passes it off to Willian. A little bit of dribbling on the edge of the box. Back to Marcus Rashford. Turns back inside. There's one. There's two. Little roulette. Makes the space. Perfectly time for this. And there's the goal. Flip-flapping in there or elasticone or whatever you want to call it. Changing them together is really, really good. And we went 1-0 up from the kickoff. And then this poor sap. I'm pretty sure he paused it to sub off his... Yeah, he did. There you go. He brought Podolski off and brought on Party. But the poor guy, it didn't do anything for him. He, he, he gave the ball straight back to me. He got it back and he gave it straight back to me again with Marcus Rashford. Played into Willian. Get a little bit lucky. Give it into Cristiano Ronaldo. And you guys can see where this is going. I'm messing out with some skill moves. We give it to Marcus Rashford. We hit the El Tornado. We hit the perfect time and we hit the 2-0. And this guy is fuming. And off he pops. <laughs> yeah. So that was my first couple of games of this team. Okay, so... I was getting all confused about my editing at the start. So we're nine and three at this point. Obviously, one of them we lost with this team. And I was... So this is the point that I thought we changed the team, but this is actually two games into playing. So we changed it after 10 games. We are eight and two, but like I said, we probably should have been nine and one, or realistically, fairly, if everything was fair, we probably would have been nine and one. But again, like I said, there was games where I scraped wins where we should have been battering people and we were just about winning. So we could have realistically as well been like six and four, and it wouldn't have been a surprise to me. We should have been 9-1. and one. We were 8-2. and two, and We probably could have been like 6-4 and four or 5-5. Five and five. So I decided to change the team up. And then this was the point that we ended up with after playing a couple of games there on the Friday. So we did pretty decent, to be honest with you guys. Nine and nine wins out of 12. It's not bad. It's not bad. Obviously, I used to, when I was playing every single week and properly in practice, and before everyone got 14 prime icons in their team and then Southern three more on, <laughs> I was obviously getting like 14-1 and one and 14-2 and two and just getting to gold three and peacing out. That's not quite... We've obviously already lost three times, and we usually lost, lose a couple more times before we get to 14 at this point, but we're doing all right. The team's looking decent. It still didn't feel and still doesn't feel quite right. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The balance is just completely off, and I ended up speaking to Reeve and trying a few things out, but if you guys have got any ideas on how we can fix it up, and just... it. It feels like I've got all of my eggs, and it isn't even true. Somebody did tweet me this. It feels like I've got all my eggs in the Cristiano Ronaldo basket, and it feels like... I've put two million, well, one and a half million coins into Ronaldo and nothing elsewhere. I, if I had done that, I would completely agree with it that I need to sell Ronaldo and build a more balanced team where I spend a few hundred K on every player instead of all of the coins on Ronaldo and nothing on anyone else. But that just isn't true at all. So I don't understand. I've got play them with Rashford. I've got flashback David Louise and prime moments Blanc. I've had prime Keen. I've got... Future Stars, Bentacore, Birthday, I mean, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I've spent a fortune, and I've got really good players everywhere, but my team just feels really, really disjointed. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. You can maybe make some trials, try some new things out and stuff like that, and I'll show you a couple of them in the next video. But if you guys have got any sick ideas, please do let me know down in the comment section. I'm going to leave it there, though. I'll catch you guys up with my Foot Champs rewards and how I finished off this Foot Champs in the next episode. But for now, I'm going to leave it there. I've made some signings. I'm not really too sure about them. I just wanted to catch you guys up on it, basically, and get you back in the loop. We're going to do foot champs rods, and then I promise, cross my heart, I'll do that tutorial for you guys. I'll see you soon.